Alright, we're kicking it old school now with some Castle of the Winds. This is a game from the Windows 3 or Windows 95 possibly era. Um, this is, I guess, most closely compared with a roguelike game. Simplistic graphics. Let me move my window a little bit. There we go. Simplistic graphics. Um, mostly console-based control system. Meaning, like, just button commands. You can use the mouse, but they don't really encourage it or add any extra support for mouse users or anything. And what you're hearing in the background is um, just orchestrated Zelda music. Um, yeah, that's why I didn't buy any armor, is because there's some. Anyway, orchestrated Zelda music in the background, because this game doesn't have sound, to my knowledge. So, basically just make our way around the castle. Castle of the Winds. Apparently this castle is the one that the winds are of. And I was actually um, gotten into this game a long time ago by my friend Dylan. Otherwise, I probably would have never heard of it because it didn't come on any of the computers that we got. All he had was a demo, but this is the full version. The demo only allowed you to get to a certain experience level or only so deep into the castle or whatever. Um... I don't remember what the button is for going downstairs, but this is where the castle begins to more or less randomly generate itself, is once you get past the first floor. And a lot of the items that you get in this game are unidentified when you first get them. This is a potion. What kind of potion? Well, you'll just have to either take it to get identified, or not. Yeah, I got teleported by a teleport trap. Picking up all kinds of stuff. Um, inventory. Let's, uh, put on this cloak. There's a chance that it'll be, um... You see a monster. There's a chance that items that you try equipping that are unidentified uh, will be cursed. So you have to be careful. You have to be willing to take chances. I have a heal minor wounds spell. That's what I just used to heal myself there. Um, I'm back up to 13 HP. You can see my stats down there. Oh, I got ganged up on. But yeah. Um, and of course, what game series is complete without a sequel? As you can tell from these screens, um, I'll take Heal Minor Wounds, Magic Arrow, Phase Door, and um, Clairvoyance, and Identify, and Teleport, and uh, Rune of Return. Basically what I was trying to say is you can tell from that screen and if you're actually going to be able to read this information down here, 
you start at a higher level, you start in a different place, um, and you basically have um, more spells to start with. Um, this game's a little bit harder. It's kind of like to pick you up where um, the last castle of the winds left off and I'm getting my butt kicked like majorly it's not even funny no it's not stop laughing um teleport <laughs> run away but yeah, this isn't going to be like a let's play or anything. Like I said, I'm just playing this because my current games aren't cooperating me, uh, aren't cooperating with me very well at the moment, and I just don't feel like messing with them right now. I'll fix them later. Don't worry. Whatever. Um, I just wanted to show you all a piece of my younger years of gaming really quick. Um, some of you will recognize this, some of you won't. For those of you who don't recognize it but think it looks interesting, you can Google it. Um, there is some place out there that you can download the full version, I'm sure. I don't remember where I got this full version from. Um, gates closed. But yeah, um, as you can see, more shops here, whatever. Um, hope you enjoyed seeing an old game and hearing orchestrated Ocarina of Time music. That's all that I'm going to do in this video. I, um, I really don't feel like trying to get deep into this or anything. Like I said, I'm just, just kind of showing off the basic gameplay. Um, and I'm out. See you guys later.